it seems to me right now that it seems it's being obstructionist, and we we very well very well may not see uh, the state related universities funded based on what occurred here in the House tonight and what we understand is occurring in the Senate. You know, the opportunity to um, vote for the state related is different than the general funding uh, bill. Everybody knows that the state related need funded, and this is the level it's going to be. These bills need two thirds votes. And, and there's no reason to hold back the monies to, to get to the universities. This was a, you know, really a, a chip shot in, in terms of helping out the state universities. We had letters from Bill, if I'm not mistaken, from officials from Temple University, University of Pittsburgh, Penn State University, urging everyone, every member, Republican and Democrat, to vote for the uh, state-related uh, non-preferreds. Certainly, we've uh, put up the votes with respect to the non-preferreds. Uh, Lincoln University's passed because you need two-thirds, uh, but we didn't have enough Democratic support with respect to Temple, Penn State's uh, suspension uh, vote, and for the University of Pittsburgh, and for the University of Pennsylvania Veterinary School. The, the fact of the matter is, is each and every Republican, as, as we have consistently done throughout the years, has supported these state-related universities. And uh, I, one of our colleagues, uh, State Representative Kate Harper from Montgomery County, I thought said it best when she was talking about the Temple University uh, vote, said, look, you can either stand with the Temple University kids and provide funding for the university, or you're against them. And everybody knows that, that uh, these are the funding vehicles, and either you're going to play obstructionist with allowing the universities to be funded, or you're not. We'll see if there's a motion for reconsiderations filed, and if some of the Democrats change their minds, we'll, we'll know soon enough.